In this lecture, Professor A.K. Enamelhack explains how Bangladesh economy might look like in another 20 years. Uh, you remember what was the last class we did? Yes. So we did inflation and we understand that there are two types of inflation. One is called demand pool inflation. So demand pool inflation and cost push inflation. So we start from there. This was the inflation, two theories of inflation. Remember what we are trying to understand. We knew that inflation can be managed. And inflation can be managed by the central bank. So one, we know that inflation has to be managed. And we know that inflation has to be managed not equal to zero. It has to be a positive inflation. And we also understood in the last classes that it is the central bank who controls the money supply. And in this case, it is Bangladesh Bank who controls the money supply. And that is why the central bank is going to manage the inflation. So we knew that there are authorities who are supposed to manage inflation. But we should know who, how it is created. And in the last class, what we did, we looked into the theory and we realized that, okay, so we realized that inflation can be created. This is aggregate output, this is aggregate demand, and this is aggregate supply. And we created, we knew that inflation can be created by rising demand. And we realized in the last class that demand can be, so remember aggregate demand is equal to C plus I plus G plus minus. And we realized that consumption in countries like Bangladesh is increased by population growth. So population growth increases consumption. We realize that consumption in countries like Bangladesh is increased by, I would say increase this way. Sorry, not done, it look like decrease. So we realize that uh, consumption can go up because of poverty reduction. So if poverty goes down, consumption goes up. We realize that if remittance goes up, consumption goes up. So we, and in Bangladesh, we are lucky or, or unlucky in our case, consumption always goes up. We also realize in countries, investment goes up because of two reasons. One is domestic investment goes up. And second is foreign investment goes up. So in Bangladesh, both of them are going up. So and is going up because consumption is going up as somebody needs to supply it. So there are investment happening in the economy. Doesn't matter how people say it, uh, answer is investment is going up. And if you look into the GDP data, you can see the investment growth. In Bangladesh, government is spending more and more money because we have a shortage of public good. We don't have roads, we don't have universities, we don't have the hospitals. Because we don't have any of this, the government is continuously spending more. The result is in countries like Bangladesh, you will always see the aggregate demand between any two years. This is year one. So this is the price level. Remember, this is the price level. So price level goes up between year one and year two. And that is how is inflation created. But the good news is that GDP also goes up. So we have economic growth. So we are, we are seeing in Bangladesh that economic growth is happening compared to other countries. So if a country, if another country, if you look at another country where aggregate demand, where population growth is zero, like that of many countries in the world, where poverty is already zero, you cannot reduce anymore, where remittance growth is not there, so those countries, C does not grow. Quite a lot of countries in the world where consumption is not growing. And if consumption does not grow, there is no need for investment. So investment is not growing. And in most of the countries, they're already developed. The government does not need to do much, except maybe fighting in a war in somewhere else. 
So these countries does not have a government expenditure going up either. So these countries have a problem, and that's how you see that if you look into certain countries in the West, Western countries' GDP goes up and down. So in other words, if I look at the time, and if you look into the GDP of Western countries, you will find out sometimes it goes up and sometimes it goes down. Whenever it goes down, this time is known as recession. So remember, recession is part of the Western economy. It is not part of Bangladesh economy. We rarely, we will never had a recession so far. And until another 20 to 30 years, we will never have a recession. What is the story of Bangladesh? If you look into the GDP of our time of Bangladesh, and if you look into the story of Bangladesh of GDP, so this is time, you'll find out Bangladesh GDP is going up like this. So this is how we are moving. Very simple example I can give. So we can see the picture, real picture, real time picture of Bangladesh GDP. So let's go to the World Bank data. So historically, Bangladesh never had, except this one year, maybe this is one year, you can see GDP is going down. But every time Bangladesh GDP has been going up. So Bangladesh never had a recession. And this growth of Bangladesh, if you think about it, this growth of Bangladesh will continue, will continue till another 20 years. So if you look into this GDP of Bangladesh in this particular diagram, you realize that this is where we are. This is the, the scenario in terms of, this is 2018. Today we are here and in future, we are expecting Bangladesh the GDP to go up. So in fact, we are targeting this way our GDP to go up. So that will be GDP of Bangladesh. Do you see any recession in Bangladesh? So the first thing for you, for you to realize that uh, recession, which we teach in economics courses, uh, is uh, should be taught in America and Europe because that is how their GDP moves. So their GDP moves like this. Our GDP moves like this. We can actually check it. Please subscribe to this channel to receive updates on new videos.